Hey dudes, what's up? It's Noodles from The Offspring. And uh, I've got a request for uh, one of my band songs. This is Feelings for the Red Mamba HD. So, uh, just kidding, I'm not Noodles. So you can go now. Anyway, standard tuning. Let me grab a seat. You can call me Noodles. You wouldn't be the first one. All right, here's what we're gonna learn in standard tuning. I've been teaching a couple years when this one came out. I just I thought, what a cool twist! Wasn't this a Barry Manilow song or something? It was. Check it out. The chords are really cool here. Your chord outline is like. Love this chord. And then it goes an octave lower. So let's jump right into it. I'm Mike Gross, by the way. What's up, man? Okay, seven D, five G. So you're gonna hit those two strings together, and then palm mute the D string right where it sits on fret seven. In alternate pick, down up, down up. So, and then hit the seven, seven five D G again. So, and then go three times on seven D five G. So, now that's gonna give you your outline. He's not super consistent on it, like sometimes it's like... Well, let's keep it consistent for the sake of the lesson here. Um, but this is how it's played. So we have... And then go 6D, 5G, and do the same exact thing. If you want, you know, um, it might feel better to, to go... Hit it twice and then do like either pause or open D and transition. Like it be. Okay, so then your next one would be bar in the fifth fret, D and G, do the exact same thing. And then go 4D, 7G, same thing. Right. And then stay on 7G with your pinky and go to 3D with your first finger. This is a really cool chord, I like the stretch in it. So you make sure you're set up right with your pinky here. Don't go third finger, you're gonna kinda screw yourself, man, when you gotta do that big stretch. Okay, so well, the same thing here. So let's play up to there. Then you'll uh, close that gap, go 5D, 7G, same thing. And then 5E, 7A. Go down, up, up, up. So, open E and then go 7A, 9D, 9G. When you do the five seven here, you can also do the seven on the on the D, because I do think it's a uh, power chord with the octave in it. it. Just makes it a little full, little fuller. So so open E and then you'll hit the seven nine nine T G and B. So, um, up, 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 and then repeat it. And again, and then go down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. 
on 799. So. And then the verse kicks in, the vocals. And it's basically what you just did, but the chords are all an octave lower. So it's 5E, 3A. And do the same thing. We're going to hit those two strings together. Down, up, down, up, palm muted off that E string, 5th fret. And hit the chord. And then hit it two more times. Or three times. But if you do two, two you let it ring for a split second and then or you can hit an open E. Kind of flows with the open. But you make the call because he's doing a mixture of all of those. So 4E, 3A, same thing. And then uh, bar the third fret E and A, same thing. And then 2E, 5A, same thing. And then 1E, 5A, this is the hardest stretch of the song. Make sure your thumb's lowered back there so you can reach this stretch here. And then 3E, 5A, just a regular G5 power chord. Same thing. So we have... And then back to this thing, 5E, 7A, 7D. Remember that? Down, up, 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 up. So. And then open E, 7A, 9D, 9G. So do the same strum that you just did like on the A, A power chord. Now we're going to do it with the E power chord. Four ups. Or you can do down. And then you're right back to this again. I'm trying to remember how many times there before it goes into the chorus. I think it's two. I'm not sure. Listen and you'll hear what I'm talking about. That's the one part I can't remember how many times. And then the chorus comes in, it's a F5 with the octave, one, three, three, top three strings, and go. Down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, 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 down, up. And this kind of changes too, but we'll keep that same strum for the sake of the lesson as well. And then we move to a C5, 3A, 5D, 5G. Make sure you're muting the low E there. Okay, then we're going to move it to D5, a whole step sharp, 5, 7, 7. Down, up, up, down, up, up. And then same thing on 7, 9, 9, same strings. But don't pause when you switch the chords. That's where people struggle a lot on guitar. Don't go. You might at first because you can't help it, but the goal is to not pause in there. So and then go to 5E, 7A, 7D and go down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up. Okay, so... Actually, it's down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. And then you go back to the this part. And then 5A, 7D, 7G. Down, up, up, down, up, up, change. And then a B5, 2, 4, 4, A, D, and G. Same thing. Right. And then he's hitting an E major open position chord, and that's 2A, 2D, 1G. And he's basically hitting strings 6, 5, 4, and 3 in this part, and it's down, up, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up. Okay, so the chorus.
kidding. Noodles didn't do that in there. Anyways, hope you have fun with this lesson. It's a cool one. Take it slow because this type of alternate picking where you got to alternate pick while you're palm muting and lift to hit a chord and drop it right back down. It's got a lot of bounce action going on in it. So you do want to take your time with it and make sure you're getting all the little parts right. Um, and it will come together. It's just like Beast and the Harlot from Avenged Sevenfold. I'm not in that tuning, but it basically does that. <laughs> No, it's not, it's supposed to be drop D, but I'm just trying to make a point that it's got that same type of thing. So play it slow and make sure it's clean and then gradually pick it up in that way. Because I hear, I hear a, lot, a lot of, not just my students, you know, not all of them, but um, it just gets sloppy through there and it can be fixed. So if you take my advice, you'll be able to fix this. Um, YouTube.com slash Rocking Guitar Lessons 1 and Rocking Guitar Lessons 2. I have how-tos in the style of technique. Anything with a musical pitch to it, you can request and find here. Um, so get involved, man. All I ask is that you subscribe because I have many, 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 many pages of requests. So, um, And those are subscribers. And uh, out of fairness, subscribe that we're on the, on the team, so to speak. And we're all in this to get better on the instrument. My website, rockingguitarlessons.com, if you're looking for a little extra, you know, fine tuning, that'll be $25 a month to join. That's coming pretty much any day now. Um, so be watching for that. It's going to be really cool. There's, there's some trick things on this site that, that I think are really going to help you. They're designed to help you in a way that um, I don't think you will find on any other website, at least right now, in this day and age, in this time. And that's all I'm going to say about that. If you're interested in taking it even a notch further, I teach on Skype, Facebook, Google Hangout, all you need is a webcam. Send me a request. My Skype contact is Rockin' Guitar Lessons. $50 an hour, $25 for half an hour. We work on whatever you want to work on. Enough said. Bottom line, man. Originals, whatever you want to help with. Um, and we can fine tune it, soloing, rhythms. It doesn't matter what style it is, what technique it is. We'll get you to the next level. Um, so send me a request on Skype, and um, we can get started, get a, a set day, set time for you, and get going. Uh, my email, rockingguitarlessons at hotmail.com. I have a couple Facebooks. Uh, one of them you can add is uh, facebook.com slash mgfreeguitarlessons. And um, I'm actually doing a lot of custom lessons. Uh, people that have added me on Facebook, uh, you know, tapping out stuff, doing some videos, and you can. I have no problem with you. You know, sending me an instant message and, uh, you know, making your, re your request to me that way. Payments are made through PayPal. My PayPal email is tbxpunk at aol.com. That's also the email you would use if you would um, like to donate to this channel through paypal.com. Uh, I think that's it. I think I hit everything. Uh, Rocking Guitar Less, 1S, at twitter.com if you'd like to add me on Twitter. And until next time, I'm Mike Gross. I mean Noodles. I mean Mike Noodles. And we'll talk to you guys later. Have fun with this, you guys. See ya. And uh, come back. Come back for more. Spread these videos around your Facebook, man. Let the world know who Mike Gross is. Till next time, Mike Noodles signing off.